little nugget. I spotted a coyote. Yeah, there's no closet in here. There's nothing in here. It's, it is a bedroom. Uh, it's a bedroom. This is giving us a lot of ideas. I think that our kitchen will be a very similar size. We're Jazz and Crystal, and for the last three years, we have been living alternatively with our dogs, Bella and Izzy. We're driving our van from Canada to Mexico, but we decided we should stop here in Joshua Tree and experience what it would be like living in a shipping container home in the middle of the desert. We're here to try tiny living in a different structure and to gain inspiration for our own projects as we are going back to Cabin Renos come spring this year. Homes and buildings made out of steel shipping containers. Foot shipping container transformed. It's giving old into metal shipping containers. Homes built purpose. out of shipping containers are coming to San Diego. Exactly Look at that one. It has an upstairs. Here we go. <laughs> Do you love your new chair? The clock is ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Moving on out. Wow, look at this place. Girls, look. I'm gonna spend all my time in there. Well, we hoped that was gonna be a smooth little sequence. Kick it in. One eternity later. Welcome to Star Set. Whoa. It's so cute. Is that the same couch we have in the cabin? Oh, we got this couch in the cabin. This reminds me of home. I've missed my couch so much. <laughs> in love with this. Natural light. Wow. It's the cutest. I've never been in a shipping container home before. Me either. This is a really beautifully thought out tiny home. You want to move in? We're moving in here, but our tiny house is literally five steps away. So I don't know if this is like necessary, but might as well get the full experience, right? Home sweet home, honey. Look at that view. Wow. There's a freezer. We didn't bring any cold fruit. Well, if we have to go into town at all tomorrow. <laughs> I think we have to now. <laughs> Turns out we had one freezer item. That's one good looking fridge. Feeling alive. And I don't want to lose it. Dancing in the moonlight. Got my head feeling space. This world keeps coming back and back. So there ain't no use feeling down. Feeling down. We're much better together, I know. There's nothing like a desert sunset. It was so beautiful. I'm a couch potato, if you all didn't know. <laughs> well, we got a little compromise there. Couch with the sunset view. <laughs> yeah, like this garage door is definitely going to be a must and in then, our cabin. Yeah, and then like the sun sets right there. So you get all that. And it's so, sun. it's so vast, as I always <laughs> say. <laughs> and you can see all the colors. It's just gorgeous. Bella's putting herself to bed. She's been trying very hard all day and night to not fall asleep. She was even doing like little tantrums, like just trying to get Izzy going. <laughs> but we know that she's just so exhausted. Having a Bella or an Ozzy, it's like having a toddler. Full time job. <laughs> What do you feel like? I don't know. I'm honestly not that hungry. Yeah, so why don't we make something simple? I got an idea. The 
one and only adobo. We don't go anywhere without it now. <laughs> I think I miss the cabin couch, but I think there's someone that misses it just a little bit more than me. If anyone doesn't know, Crystal is famous at making delicious sauces. She's got a talent. Delicious. Mmm. Sauce queen. <laughs> Zoom queen. Queen. I don't got a dollar. I can't even holler at you. Toss the fridge. Oh, almost lost the dinner. Got ya. Mmm. Very good, eh? Are you happy now? <laughs> it's gonna be so relaxing. I can't wait. We were right. The sun does rise right there. It's so pretty. the dishes last night for the first time <laughs> in maybe years <laughs> Yes. because I don't have to stare at them all night because I'm not in the van I'm in a much bigger tiny home our sink in the van is our kitchen sink and our bathroom sink but having this super far away from the super far away from the bedroom is pretty nice because you don't need to look at it all the time you can leave the dishes what Good a luxury work. I know it took a lot of time you I didn't know how you did that Just made oh. it. <laughs> Just made it. Oh gosh. Anything before coffee's hard, even making it. <laughs> All right, show us your best. these babies <laughs> quick ad break we love sharing our meals and our love for preparing and cooking food and while we've been working on our knife skills we now have a beautiful Japanese steel set to go along with it these are the Japanese steel Kamikoto knives with unmatched quality and beauty each knife goes through a rigorous 19 step process they are individually inspected and having a lifetime guarantee used by Michelin star chefs. We're so excited to bring them into the kitchen, both in the van and at the cabin. We believe so much in taking time and energy to prepare meals that fuel our bodies and our knives are one of the most important tools in the kitchen. The knives are razor sharp and for me, it's watching the knife go through a tomato like butter. Each knife set comes in a beautiful ashwood box and it makes a great gift. Kamikoto is offering our viewers $50 off your first purchase. Scroll down to the description below and use the code BAMWIVES at checkout for your first set.
We love juicing and yeah, I feel like we feel our best when we are drinking juice on a regular basis. So today we're making orange juice with grapefruit, lemon, and a few mandarins. Tasty! Yeah, it's gonna be really great. This will last us a few days. If we were at the cabin or we had more space, I'd probably make seven or eight of these and we drink them throughout the week. But with this, we actually just put some of this in a glass and then also some water. So it goes a long way. And today I'm gonna add some cayenne for a little spice. I Ooh, love that. Gut it, hell. Yeah, it really uh, turns your belly on fire. <laughs> it's a lot of juice. This is like two to three bottles of juice at the grocery store. And for a quarter of the price. Yeah, it's pretty economical. Add that spice. Nice. Spice is nice. Who's getting that one? <sighs> Not a good luck, eh? Looks mm. like I worked at Tim Hortons for five years for nothing. <laughs> You made the best bagels too, and now what are you doing here? I'll actually take it. These bagels are super good. I don't even think it matters if they're burnt. We can play rock, paper, scissors. Mmm. Okay. You did cook, so. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. You won. Yeah! Okay. I love this. I knew you'd love it. We have to do this at the cabin. This is such a perfect morning. The view, man. So quiet. The vibe. The vibe. Like, it's so simple. I love, like, the simplistic style of this place. It's very unique. It's very inspiring. It's the door for me. The garage door is really cool. All I want to do is <laughs> renovate right now. Yeah, we're really missing the cabin right now. I think we miss it more and more each week. Oh, wow, that was so scary. One second. Izzy. This little nugget just spotted a coyote. Obviously barked at it. Runs right towards it. Yeah, but then we... We got her. It was Holy. beautiful though. Be like, right. Right it, where that <clears throat> metal stuff is. It was really scared. Izzy. That was wild. First of all, the girls' senses are so strong. They've been sniffing weird ever since they got here, but that's what happens when you're out here in the desert. There's just so many animals. I and think there's, there's no boundaries. There's no boundaries, there's no fences, there's no trees or anything in between you, just some small bushes. There's definitely a boatload of coyotes out there. I wanna go coyote scouting. Now that we've spent one full night here in the shipping container home, we wanna bring you inside and show you the living area and how they utilize this tiny space. If you don't know, the structure behind me is created out of a shipping container. Although it looks like a rectangular house, it is actually a cargo container that is typically used to ship products around the world. However, it has now been transformed into a home with windows, running water, electricity, and much more. Before we go inside, I just wanna let you know that this is a 40 foot container. It is about eight feet wide and almost nine feet tall. So it's a very interesting shape and you're gonna get a feel for it right now. When you walk in the door, you immediately walk into the kitchen and you'll notice right away that this is a one open area, one open space. It's really beautiful how the kitchen wraps around the outside of this corner of the box and the big bright window really makes this area look so much bigger than it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten drawers in here. That's a lot of space for a tiny home. I think what makes this space so special is that it's very minimalistic. There aren't tons of shelves and tons of decorations and it's really bright. And so you're really just drawn to these simple features like the light fixture. It's part of the decor, right? It really, it really pulls you in like these natural pine, like light wood features. It's the simplicity in here that is, that I'm drawn to. This is giving us a lot of ideas. I think that our kitchen will be a very similar size. Um, I guess the only big difference would be that our fridge and our stove would both be run on propane as we'll be fully off grid. We won't have any microwaves, but. Um, <laughs> microwave, there you are. I'm pulling a lot of inspo from this room. I just love the yeah. kitchen. I think it's gonna be my favorite in our little cabin. Me too. All right, we're leaving the kitchen to the living room. This TV swivels right into this space. They are connected. It seems like this was made for hosting and enjoying this view rather than the TV because this is all I wanna look at. Just a click of a button and the garage door opens and closes and extends your entire living area. 
You can definitely see that by standing here in the living space that they have the right idea when it comes to building a tiny home that you're not meant to just live inside, you're meant to live outside. You feel like this is an extension of the inside. I think that's the most amazing feeling. This is something we'll for sure be doing at the cabin. It's so important to make your space outside feel like a part of the inside. It's all about living outdoors in our world. Exactly. One thing I love so much about this space is if your dog's taking up the whole couch, Bear. Good or girl. you have a bunch of friends over. The idea is just to be sitting, you know, down around on the floor. I love this. Like I could sit here all day long. I think it's super cool. I love bean bags. It just brings me back in time. <laughs> <laughs> I want bean bags at the cabin too. Heck yeah. Who needs chairs? Like this is perfect. I'm gonna bring you into the second half of the home now. There is a partition wall, so it does make it feel separate from the rest of the home. Let's go check it out. This is the barn door that separates the living area from the bathroom and the bedroom. I don't know if you can see right off the bat, but these walls are some sort of cement. It's like a texturized drywall. It almost looks like cement. And this whole place, the shower itself is such a vibe. It's the perfect amount of space, really. So it's the perfect size. They've got the shower, a toilet, and a sink, a large mirror, and you don't need much more than this. They keep it nice and bright and light in here, which is super important in a small space. Love the tile. One thing I'd say, I had a shower last night. I would definitely put in a shower door because Wet floors, unhappy crystal. That's true. You can tell that we've been living in here. We've completely taken over and <laughs> it's a really small room. It really doesn't fit more than a queen bed. It's literally a bedroom. Like there's no <laughs> other space in here, but that's not what it's about once again. It's about that big, beautiful window. It's so bright. Waking up here this morning and seeing the sun peek through the curtains was like no other. And that is what this home is about. Yeah, there's no closet in here. There's nothing in here. It's, it is a bedroom. Uh, it's a bedroom. <laughs> so what do you call other people's bedrooms? Sweets? <laughs> I don't know. Welcome to the outdoors. This is the outdoor living space here at the shipping container home. All right, get this. There is not a single chair for lounging or dining inside of the shipping container home. It's all incorporated outside. This is the outdoor living room and I love the natural features. I just love those little tables. I think this is a fantastic idea, having a full-blown rug outdoor living room outside. It's such a cozy, vibey place. It is. Over here we have another seating area, which actually can host a lot of people. It's a pretty big table. They put concrete, slabs, and pebble stone throughout it just to give it a different, unique style. Keeps it more outdoorsy. And one thing I miss most about the cabin is having a full-size barbecue. So behind me we have that. So I can't wait to cook dinner tonight because it is gonna be a tasty one. And the lights, we have those at the cabin. Oh, all the feels. Yeah, the view is just, Breathtaking. What a dinner view. I love how you can just see forever. Yeah. And then there's just mountains. So right here we have a cold tub, which is super important when you are in the desert. Like we said, the days are very hot, especially in the summer. So you can go from cold to hot to cold to hot, which is actually really good for your health. And as you all know, there is a hot tub here, which is a great addition to this entire atmosphere. And we enjoyed it a lot last night. It is electric, so we definitely won't be having this style of hot tub at our cabin, but we will be having a cedar wood-fired hot tub there. Can't wait. Out here we have our campfire. But yeah, you have four chairs, you can all enjoy it with your friends, and the stars out here are incredible. So there's nothing like a campfire outside a shipping container with the stars, the Milky Way, and everything above you. Absolute essential. And the coyotes howling. Now for one of the most exciting parts. We haven't been up here yet because we've been waiting to See it for the first time with all of you. Well, we were gonna save it too for the sunset and have dinner up there, which we still will do, but let's go up there now. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> Woo! This is the rooftop terrace and it's in a giant patio, winding stairs to the top, 360 views. The sunset would be phenomenal from here and I can't wait for tonight. It's gonna be so good. Also, look at this. Gotta say it once more, it's all about being outside. There's a whole nother area to sit, to lie, and enjoy nature. This is really well thought out, this entire space. This is literally just a deck built on top of it. And yeah, I mean, we wouldn't be able to do something quite like this in Canada because it's flat and we have all four seasons, a lot of snow, but I admire it. Agreed. I'm looking for the coyotes. <gasps> I found one. 
the biggest coyote of all. <laughs> Another desert sunset. Hi, honey. <gasps> oh, jacket. Time to enjoy this space. So long since we had dinner outside, honey. A long time. A barbecue dinner. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking for the coyotes. <laughs> I know, I'm a little, uh... a little paranoid. <laughs> Burnt plate of veggies, everyone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We did jalapeno poppers, zucchini, onion, and pepper from like what we have with Colin. Just did the same things. It's such a good combo. We have like a chorizo and asparagus. Woohoo! I'd say like 80% veggie here. 90% no veg vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetable. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. I love a good fire. So nice. Beauty. Beauty. How many of you would want to live in this shipping painter house or do you think you could do it? Do you think it's enough space or what are your thoughts on it after seeing a whole full tour? It seems like an immense amount of space, but that's my opinion. <laughs> we live in a van. <laughs> We're the wrong people to ask. It's kind of like a small apartment, really. Dessert? Dandies, yeah. Dandy, sweet. How are you gonna roast it? We're in the desert, not the woods. <laughs> Come on, ladies. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I want one too, yo. Go find your own twig. <laughs> Hi! Oh my god. My freaking hand's gonna be a s'more in a minute. Um, what a great sound. Crackle. I miss that crackle. Turns out I'm burning everything tonight. next week as we drum roll cross the border into Mexico. I love Baja. Yay! We're preparing a lot before we go. 
12 bricks. And if we're being really honest, we're equally as excited as we are nervous for the next leg of our van journey south. Before long, we find ourselves mingling with the locals, sleeping in a ranch. Whoa, I'm like in a movie. <laughs> What'd you do, Bella? And settling in to all that Mexico has to offer. Woo, 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 woo.